predator and prey are constantly in an evolutionary arms struggle for survival. But then, there's another lesser known arms race underway between the more peaceful members of the animal kingdom. This is the battle of digestive systems. Two opponents make use of two different strategies to extract nutrients from available food. Giraffe, buffalo and wildebeest are all ruminants, meaning they have very sophisticated digestive systems that can exploit every last drop of nutrients in their food. But to ruminate is a very drawn out process. Food is chewed, swallowed, regurgitated and chewed again to break it down for optimal absorption. In this way, every bite is maximized. Zebra, on the other hand, are non-ruminants or hindgut fermenters, as are elephants and rhinos. The digestive systems of non-ruminants work differently to ruminants. They can't extract every bit of energy out of their food by chewing and rechewing it, but they can get the energy that is released out more quickly. This is a very useful characteristic when hungry predators lurk around every corner and you never know when you're going to need that energy to get away. To have a rapid digestive system is also more efficient in the dry season when food has a lower nutritional value. Non-ruminants like elephants eat continuously to acquire adequate energy. A ruminant like a buffalo simply cannot eat continuously because they have a limited stomach capacity. If the protein value of the grass drops below 6%, chances are high that the animal may die of starvation. This is why ruminants usually die first during serious droughts. They don't only differ internally, their dung also differs as a result of their stomach processes. Non-ruminants only digest their food partially, so there is much rough material in their dung. The droppings of ruminants look uniform in texture, without identifiable pieces of vegetation. But the battle for survival is about much more than using food effectively. During times of drought, zebra will eat taller grass, and wildebeest and impala will follow to then use the shorter grass. This is why mixed herds of zebra, wildebeest and impala are often seen grazing together. Digestive systems are yet another of nature's clever adaptations in the battle for survival. <laughs>